is going on people welcome back johnny here and we are playing some rim world this is the mechanator game and we've about recovered from what could have certainly been the death of us we are desperate for steel so i'm gonna go around and shoot up a bunch of these things these things leave like six slag so there's options around the map i just have to find and destroy them because desperate times we need bionics we need some way to heal up a missing kidney we need and two legs pow all right so that little shit only made four but i'm pretty sure these things make six everybody there give it the business okay five no it is six very nice all right, I'm going to hunt around for some more of that kind of action here. And that appears to be about it. <laughs> I think we're uh, we're boned, but that should get us what we need to grab all those on the map. There's 10 of them. There should be about 150 steel to build the last of the power lines here. We ran out of steel in that effort. It also helps that we swap the material of our doors to stone. Doing what we can to get by. So we need steel in order to be able to bring our mechs back to life. Uh, this guy might actually go in here. I'm half torn. I don't know. I almost took this apart. But we do have... Somehow we ended up with a mega sloth skin. So there you go. Oh, this is not the right time to turn that off. There we are. Okay, finally steel coming in. Bring them all in here, please. All right, so then we'll get these turned on. And then we'll... There's a shit ton of steel under the ground there, so we just have to dig it up and not attract the attention of... This says it's actually off. I don't even know. <laughs> I think they were on. They just didn't have power. Yeah. Okay. So I think they'll start mining. As soon as I canceled all the other mining jobs too. There were jobs all around and I dumped those. And the mechs. The mechs are unrestricted. The people are unrestricted. Holy shit. Now, what do we need in order to make bionic legs? We need 15 Plasteel for advanced components. So we need to get Yegor on top of that. So now that most of the construction stuff is done we're gonna get Yegor onto that job hopefully and these dudes can clean this mess up we can turn these off for the moment ah somebody come down here and do some construction that's a mech I don't know what their priority is clearly oh this never got built either uh, why won't you work on this? Do I have to move these out of the way? It's a decent possibility. So we'll find out. Yeah, okay. So apparently they couldn't do that construction. There we go. Still a lot of power. So anyways, we're going to solve the steel problem. Hopefully once and for all. We've we solved the plastic problem. We have 700 and something now. Oh my gosh, something positive just came down to It's nice. It's very nice. Belly is fully healed. Nice. Very nice. So, two legs and a kidney. Ouch. But, certainly could have been worse. The whole damn thing could have been over. So, <laughs> Yegor, what are you working on? Making clothes. We had a naked person for a while. Let's just... Uh, Let's just not do these things since they're less than important. Where is tailoring kicked up? Yeah. Let's try that. What's he going to work on now? Gaining psi fucking focus. Turn the psi focus off. Well, it is useful. I don't know. I hate I hate that they spend so much time doing that. I don't, I don't think it's worth it in... In times of need, which are frequent in RimWorld, and they're just constantly fricking around trying to get some... Hey, we have a good one here. Anybody have a less than good one? 
You have a normal one? Are you a good shot? Oh yeah, I'll equip that. Still have the Doomsday. I probably could have made good use of that. Morris, this feels like... Like, not something we need to be doing. Okay, so this is... Uh, can I reconnect? Does not say I can. Do I need to build a little bit more power? Fine. I'm gonna chop this fucking thing down. How about that? Anima tree my ass. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in this game that the DLC has added that... I don't know. Sci the psionics, I don't really care for that implementation. I think it's a bit meh. The Ideologian stuff is generally okay, if you can convert everybody to your side. That should leave me some magical wood of some type. Disturbing Psychic Scream. Jesus! Well, I wasn't fully aware that was going to happen, but we are getting steel, and that's important. And our mechs are getting resurrected. Look at that, we have two of them already coming back to life. Fantastico. Oh, a bulk goods trader showed up too. What do you know? Good day. Actually, Jaeger still has inspired trade, so I think we should leverage that. Did we make our rug? Mega Sloth skin? No, it's not a rug. It's just a hide. I like how their animals just roll through our uh, room there, making a bloody mess. Duck eggs. Cloth. Bird skin. Light leather. Lizard skin. We have a lot of that kind of shit we can sell. These dicks have no steel. You're a fucking bulk goods trader with no steel. You're totally worthless to me. Okay, you have herbal meds. You have dye. You have wood, but we have a lot of wood. This is totally worthless. I guess we just sell some more scrappy, crappy material. Why don't we... We need a good space trader. We're sitting on a lot of material I'd like to dump. Is there a reason we haven't had a good space trader in a while? No. It's kind of a waste of an inspired trade. Age reversal demanded for Morris. You know, this little thing here. Let's see. Pleasure medic cycle. Doesn't tell me what that does. Let's see if we can get some info on that. Uh, it cannot be used by anyone. Cycles complete faster. Resets if the pot is unused for 80 days. Immersion. It can perform a variety of biological alterations, including pleasure and age. Well, it's got a healing cycle. For whatever that's worth. Okay. Tattered apparel on Dutch gear. Yeah. It's got to be a way to repair this apparel. Not really in a situation where I can suffer the mood penalty. I'll keep an eye on it for now. How long does this thing last? Five more or five days total, it looks like. Genetic pessimism. He's got an unhappy gene. That's fantastic. Fantastically irritating. That's one of the reasons I really didn't like lo the royalty DLC. It just added a bunch of stuff that made the pawns super needy and not as fun, in my opinion. Regardless. It is fun to pursue that unique ending. <laughs> I was thinking a great ending for this type of Mechanator game would be to destroy a massive mech colony. Like you have to, I don't know, do some research, summon it, and then it'll land nearby, and it's a massive like mech cluster. And then you fucking take it out, and you can gain some super items that are badass and then you win the game uh, we might be able to stop planting for a little while here unless you guys run out of shit to do but uh, trade caravan is leaving good we got this hemogen we need to do something with do we have steel again we only have 99 steel I'm gonna wait till we have a bunch before I rebuild our pods alright we do have a mega sloth rug somebody's bedroom two bedrooms in fact didn't have that nope, that's I'm gonna set it up to match where the other one is just cuz shift that bed out of the way pow 
Nowhere near as cool as a thrumbo. It's poor also. Beauty. 22. Very nice. Oh, this is poor. Let's see. Holy fuck. 225. <laughs> so, uh, that's... 100 times more beautiful? Uh, no, that's not true. It's 10 times more beautiful, but that's pretty significant. Do I have any more of those little carpets sitting there? And I almost deconstructed this because it take, took 100 steel to build. So most likely we could end up getting a fair bit of steel back from it. Do we have any bionics? We do have a leg. All right, you are first up. Right leg. Operation add bill. Install bionic leg. Right leg. And then this we don't need right now. I guess Belly here, who is pretty solid, hopefully can accomplish this. I think that's our only other medical option here. Yeah, medical skill 11. That should, shouldn't be a problem, right? Moment of truth over here. Boom. Medical level 12. One bionic leg used. So Morris's problem is tougher not to crack. How is there like a bionic heart, but there is no bionic? That's a storm. I thought we had a zut. Integrator headset. Vasus Das. No, don't actually make it. Just give me a little info on it. Make an integrator headset. Well, that's very useful. Uh, make. Oh, here we go. I got to click this, I guess. View integrator headset. An advanced head-mounted computer signaling array that dramatically enhances a control bandwidth. Many more mechanoids at once. Now, ha, mm, plus nine on the mech bandwidth. So the mech lord helmet, though. Uh, where's bandwidth? Plus 12 for that one. Okay, so I assume you can't have them both on. Mostly because Yegor appears to be maxed out in terms of his bandwidth here. Fire! Ah, forget that. Keep bringing in steel, people. That's the chief priority we have right now. Alright, Yeager's back. He's barfing. He might go into a daze. We haven't called in a mech threat in a good long while. So at the rate his gear is wearing out... Uh, the helmet's doing fine, but the mech lord's suit is already at 76%, and with no means to repair. That is a bit troublesome, not gonna lie. I don't really know, like it doesn't, is, it's a lot of effort, and very costly in terms of materials to make those, and then they just wear out over some some time and when they're when they're worn out you're going to get a negative mood penalty and you've made all these mechs that you now can't control that's really frustrating <laughs> we do almost have another leg though so i'll get morris fixed up uh reconnect this now somebody burnt that nasty little carcass you are actively making advanced components that's good where's yegor freaking around somewhere it's debating on putting in some kind of additional recreation, like a poker table or a pool table. We have some space in here. I don't think there's anything else we really need to build. So if we did like billiards table, not a granite. It's not very resource intensive. There's a go frenzy. Nice. So what were we waiting on to build our mechs? So we were gonna do a Diabolus. Do you need a two signal chips, a high subcore, plus steel and steel. So it's all steel based. We have seven signal chips, so we can make a few of those frackers. What about you? You need a nano structuring chip and a high subcore, which we don't have a nano structuring chip. We need to call in another. Apocriton in order to accomplish that. <clears throat> let's uh, let's go check and see how our nah, it's fine. Between these two, like there is three hundred times sixteen right here alone. So twenty five three hundred times twenty seven. I think we're going to be good for that for a while. Morris, how long are you going to be in there yet? How do I see that? 
22 hours, good. It'll be a nice pool table when you get out, hopefully. I can deconstruct this stuff. Select all. I don't want to select all on map. I really just want to select all over here. Can I do that? Select all invisible area. There you go. For whatever it's worth, it's a little bit of cloth. Anyways, I guess the last point of this whole situation is going to be making some badass mechs and then testing ourselves, I guess, to see how well we hold up against a, a series of mech threats. Because we can keep putzing on here forever, but we could try and build a ship. This seems counterintuitive based on the introduction to the scenario. We could hit out on the world map and try and destroy shit. I don't know how the energy levels of the mechanoids will uh, affect us in terms of can we just keep cruising and kicking an ass or do we have to, do they just run out of juice and get stuck on the side of the road? <laughs> I don't know. We can rebuild these now. I think we have a fair amount of steel. In a pinch, we can abandon ship. Not with everybody, mind you, but <laughs> or with all the awesome shit we've made. But let's see, wildlife. There's a mega sloth. I'm gonna hunt him now. I want another rug. Let's see what happens. Everybody should be relatively healthy. Morris, did you get your leg? You're probably still in your little stupid thing. Yeah, seven hours. Who's gonna do the hunting so I can be aware? Nico. Alright, he should be okay. He's got a bionic leg. And he wants an Earl Supercharge. And he's going to go over here and see if he can bring the big bastard down. See, we knew that was coming. It's no big deal. Got it. Alright, there, boom. We'll get another rug out of that. Let's go ahead and say... Make me a rug. How are we doing for cloth? Uh, looks like a bunch right in here on our textile shelf. Morris, come on. Get back to it. You're really dragging down the productivity around here by sleeping in that damn thing all day. Tanner to Parallel Ditch. I'm going to keep him in that armor until his mood really takes his shit. He's extremely comfortable while he's wearing it. Oh, okay, maybe he has a really nice bed or something. Wouldn't it hurt to put a chair in there for whatever that's worth? I get a banging bonus for being so cozy and comfy. Oh, God, I would have rather that you didn't do that operation. But hey-ho, there it is. Two legs. So we just need to figure out how to cure a kidney situation. Emily, 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 Emily. Let's see. Pleasure, age, bio-regenerate. Requires to heal all fresh wounds, one random permanent injury, and restore small missing body parts. So if we had Glitter World meds, we could actually uh, take care of her issue. So from now on, I think we put Glitter World meds somewhere and don't allow them to use them freaking wantonly like we have been. So, okay, we can, we can solve this problem, though. That's that's the point of where I'm going with this, and that's good. All right, Ditch, who probably has no crafting ability, zero, is making another rug. All right, Ditch, you're off the fucking crafting. Why are you, why is that even turned on? Uh, Ditch. Craft Smith. And I'm sure. Oh, fuck me. It turned out normal. Very, very nice. There you go. Another rug for whatever it's worth. More steel. All right. Things seem to have stabilized for the moment, and our steel supplies continue to rise. How long does this guy have left? Five hours. We got our little dude back. I don't know why he won't go charge up, but it says. Dormant, I go to recharge mode. Toxic waste packs are building up again. Oh, this looks like the second that we've actually brought back to life too, so that's cool. Again, one thing that would be awesome is just like a spot to tell the mechs 
go over here and just stay put. Go charge up and then go lay over wherever I want them to be. I don't see any, uh, I don't see anything to accomplish that. I want all mechs on auto repair, by the way. So, oh, the dead one. <laughs> this dude is ready to go. Requires Jaeger to complete. Oh, five more waste packs. So that's why we're making additional waste. Can we make another centipede then? Eight components and one high subcore. So we can make centipedes wide open. New lovers, Nico and Belly are banging now. They won't bed together until they get married. Um, That's okay. Two people are idle now. That's decent. Well, I think we're going to call it for today. Please leave a like if you're enjoying. Leave a comment. I do read them all. I do respond. I also do appreciate you spending some time with me today. It's been fun. Pretty chill. It's nice to have a little bit of chill time. I'm really eager. I think I might make another centipede. They are pretty awesome. But I think we can do a Diabolus. I, I'm pretty sure we should probably do that first. <laughs> and then we'll do a War Queen. I just want to make sure we maintain a sufficient level of bandwidth. And if you have frick all to do, man, make some Bionics, dude. Let's just make one of each. Uh, anything else that looks interesting? Tongue, ear, heart, stomach, legs, arms, eyes. Ah. Whatever. I love you guys, and I will see you next time.